Good morning. Our entrance antiphon, the Lord says to Simon Peter, I have prayed for you that your faith may not fail. And once you have turned, once you have turned back, strengthen your brothers. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins so as to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that no tempest may disturb us. For you have set us fast on the rock of the Apostle Peter's confession of faith. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, I exhort the presbyters among you, as a fellow presbyter and witness to the sufferings of Christ and one who has a share in the glory to be revealed, tend the flock of God in your midst, overseeing not by constraint but willingly, as God would have it, not for shameful profit but eagerly, do not lord it over those assigned to you, but be examples to the flock. And when the chief shepherd is revealed, you will receive the unfading crown of glory. The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm, the Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. In verdant pastures, he gives re me repose. Beside restful waters, he leads me. He re refreshes my soul. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side with your rod and your staff that give me courage. You spread the table before me in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Only goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus went into the region of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, who do people say that the Son of Man is? They replied, some say John the Baptist, others Elijah, and still others Jeremiah, one of the prophets. He said to them, 
But who do you say that I am? Simon Peter said in reply, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus said to him in reply, Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my heavenly Father. And so I say to you, you are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of the netherworld shall not prevail against it. I will give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. <clears throat> this gospel passage marks Jesus' singling out Peter as the would-be rock upon which the church will be built. Why is that? Because Peter recognizes who Jesus is. It's a revelation to Peter in one sense alone. He understands that God the Father has sent his only son into the world. But what he does not quite yet understand is the fullness of what that means that he will save us from our sins. And Peter's faith, his realization of who Jesus is, becomes the very foundation upon which, well, in one sense, all of our faith comes to be what it is today. Each one of us recognizes Jesus for who he is. And we strive to recognize that every day in our life. And in that sense, we too are Peter. We too are the ones who testify to the truth that Jesus Christ is God's saving power at work in the world yet today. <clears throat> it's not any guarantee of our personal strength. It is only that we recognize in faith truly who Jesus is and how we choose to allow Jesus and his teachings to form who we are and the world as we will see it and make it. It is that understanding of who Jesus is that makes him that rock upon which the church is built. With humble hearts, we bring our prayers before the Lord. For all members of the church, may the power of God's word embolden us in bearing abundant fruit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For civic leaders, may the word of the Lord be the water that makes the labors fruitful and just. Let us pray to the Lord. For all persons who themselves or within their families live with mental and emotional crisis, that the joy and the love of Jesus may bring them comfort. Let us pray to the Lord. For those sickened by the coronavirus and those suffering economic ills related to this disease, lost employment and housing 
lost employment, housing, and food inf insufficiencies, that God give them the grace of perseverance and renewed hope. Let us pray to the Lord. For the faithfully parted, especially Eugene Baker and Lucille Elms, may they rejoice with the angels and saints in heaven and for the intentions of this Mass. A special intention, George Hazel, Jeannie McCready, Xavier Martin, let us pray to the Lord. For the prayers we hold silently in our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Find our vocation prayer. God our Father, we beg you for an increase in religious vocations. Help our people offer their lives in service to you. Let them hear your spirit's invitation and awaken in their hearts a desire to respond with courage, generosity, and joy. Raise up from our families faithful leaders who will serve as deacons, priests, and consecrated religious as we entrust your care. All who seek to do your will, we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you. For the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept with favor, O Lord, we pray, the prayers and offerings of your church, that with St. Peter as her shepherd, she may come to an eternal inheritance, for it is through his teaching that she holds the faith in its integrity through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For you, eternal shepherd, do not desert your flock but through the blessed apostles, watch over and protect it always, so that it may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your Son. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. <clears throat> You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body 
which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Walker, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
the communion and upon Peter said to Jesus you are the Christ the son of the living God and Jesus replied you are Peter and upon this rock I will build my church let us pray O God, who at our celebration on the feast day of the blessed apostle Peter have nourished us by communion in the body and blood of Christ, grant, we pray, that this redeeming exchange may be for us a sacrament of unity and peace through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace.